The current state that we have here in Canada is one where the rulers are practicing mischief against the Lord and against his anointed. It does not take you long in listening and hearing what's going on to realize this. I know that if you were on Facebook, you will see that anti-vaccination uh, things are being blocked. Anti-abortion messages are being blocked. Anti-homo messages are being blocked. But we may say to ourselves, as the government also will say, well, this is a private company and Facebook is free to block whomsoever they will. They're free to serve whomsoever they will. They're free to cater to whomsoever they will. Well, let's talk about the, the, uh, the, the Christian bakers that aren't allowed to serve cakes to whomsoever they will, that are forced by, by, by criminal punishment to make cakes for them. But I relent. Fine, Facebook is its own private company and they're free to do whatever they will. That's fine. But here in Canada, the government encourages and the government does the same thing. And they do it in a broader spectrum because they're doing it to all of us. Here's one such example. Pastor Steven Anderson being banned from Canada. Okay, you may not agree with his preaching. You may not agree with his stance. You may not agree with certain things that he believes and preaches and teaches. The man came here to soul win, and he is a Baptist preacher. And so whether you agree with him 100% or you don't agree with him 100%, you need to recognize that a Baptist preacher was banned from Canada. At the basis level of understanding of what's happening here, a preacher of the gospel has been banned from this country. There is a voice that's being silenced, and that voice is in opposition to the powers that be. And they have practiced mischief by doing something as simple as banning a preacher from Canada. How many people do you think come across the border every day that are vile, criminals, disgusting, yeah. filthy people, and then a man tries to enter into our country and just say an opinion, and just say what the Word of God says, and just tell the truth and it, based on his own understanding. At the basis level, it's just somebody talking. And we're going to ban somebody for their words? Are you kidding me? This is just one of the ways that they have enforced, by a law, their mischief. Another that just recently happened, this, this film, Unplanned. I haven't seen the movie. Best I understand is that it's a woman who is a Catholic, okay, and that's probably the worst thing about the story. But you see in this movie uh, very graphic depictions of her life. She worked at Planned Parenthood. She grew up in all that, in all that way. She was the manager. She was making great money as an executive. And when she finally one day stepped back, you know, she had done abortion. She had been, been through them and that sort of thing. She worked at a Planned Parenthood. <clears throat> She realized one day in witnessing by an ultrasound what actually happens in the womb. She actually saw a child that was about to be hurt and harmed and mutilated by the doctor kick back and move away from the tools as they entered into its special place. And this woman witnessed that and it was so horrific that she quit the job, she left the business, she moved away, she didn't want anything to do with it and began to voice, began to cry out and tell people what she had experienced there, okay? And so she made this movie and it's been a great hit and this States, and it's, it's been in theaters, and people are changing their minds. They are seeing the graphic details. They're seeing the truth of what happens in these filthy clinics, in these disgusting, perverted, satanic, wicked buildings whereby doctors would do such a thing to harm a child. And it's banned from Canada. So this movie is being played in, in theaters in America. It's, it's actually helping reach people and have people understand, change their mind. Hey, if 20 people in all of America don't get an abortion tomorrow because they saw this movie, praise the Lord. But Canada, you're not even going to be allowed to see this movie. It's going to be banned. And last I heard, they're not even going to let the DVDs come across. Not just from the theaters and the public showing. They're going to ban the DVD. We're going to have to somehow run this as some underground railroad and distribute it if we really wanted people to see it. Why? Because it does not fit with the status quo because they're practicing mischief against God's people, against people in general, whereby they would withhold something like that. It had great popularity. It was doing a great truth. It had great results, and Canada says, nope, not happening, banned. 